Time for In the 608. This week we are introducing you to all of the finalists. Five finalists for our Spirit of Service campaign. And Josh Breider is introducing us to another one this morning. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, Chris. Our partners in this campaign, Vortex Optics, narrowed the 100 nominations in the Spirit of Service down to just five. And this week we've been meeting the candidates who have a chance to win that $5,000 cash award. John Hofer's story unfolds with courage and compassion. I thought it was just a great honor that my son nominated me. And then when I started seeing the other veterans, the five, I'm like, wow, this, this is incredible. Every veteran uh, nominated has just done great things for our veterans in the community. John Doc Hofer has truly done it all. He volunteered for the draft at age 18, serving about two years in Vietnam as an Army combat medic with an infantry platoon. Then back here at home, Doc founded Hall of Heroes at Madison's Veterans Hospital and helped establish it at Toma and Seattle's VA hospitals. John fought for funding for veterans in financial need, helping them obtain their well-deserved benefits, while also requesting Madison Metro provide free bus service to disabled veterans. Working with both the Army and the Navy Reserve, Doc provided dental care for several years. He also established Teed Up for the Troops Community Golf Tournament, raising funds for local veterans and their families while deployed with the Guard and Reserve. Hofer is a decorated combat veteran, awarded the prestigious Army's Combat Medic Badge, the Bronze Star Medal, and the Navy's CB Combat Wealth Warfare Pin, as well as other decorations. I think I'm just so lucky that uh, I survived and uh, had some close calls and I'm like, uh, I'm happy to give back because I appreciate life. Uh, it's been good to me, even raising triplets and uh, getting into a, the VA. I never thought I'd work with them and then giving back to veterans while I was there, uh, starting the Hall of Heroes and just the are so honored when they're remembered 50 or 75 years after they were awarded uh, medals for heroism or valor. I asked John what he would do with the $5,000 if he were to win the spirit of service. John tells me he would send money to wounded warriors or tunnels to towers along with other veterans charities he continually supports. Again, John Hofer, one of five people you can vote for right now to receive that Spirit of Service Award. We'll be meeting a new candidate and hearing from them every day on News 3 Now this morning, this week. So stay tuned to learning more about their messages and what they plan to do with the award. Right now, you can vote for your favorite nominee at channel3000.com slash contest through Friday, March 8th. One vote per day per email. You can also go to the story on our website and click on the Vote Now link. Again, I'll be announcing that winner this coming Monday on News 3 Now this morning. This has been quite the process, but the things that we've learned about these people, and they're all so humble. They're all saying the same right. things. You know, even uh, John knew Dano, who we had talked Is to right? yesterday. So, yeah. like, they had met each other in passing when we had done the interviews. And it's just so amazing to see how much they care about others, right? They obviously want to win the $5,000, but it's more than just that. They're already doing amazing things in the community. Yeah, they're all winners. I don't know how we could decide between the five. It's going to be yeah. a tough choice. All of them are setting the bar so high and are a huge inspiration. Already more than 1,000 votes have been cast yeah. in this right now. Right. So you got until the end of the day on Friday? End of the day on Friday, so still plenty go. of time. Thanks, Josh. You bet. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share in the 608, so reach out on social media. Shoot him an idea, and you can see it on the air.